Hey everyone, Itay Manero here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I painted this The Last of Us pixel art illustration in Procreate. So let's jump right into it. In order to achieve this, I used the pixel art experience brush set for Procreate. You can find it along with a free mini version for you to try out on my Gumroad page through the link in the top right corner of this video or in the description below. I also used a few visual references I found on the internet from Monkey Island, my favorite video game ever, and the main thing where I'm drawing a lot of inspiration from for this project. The size of my canvas was 320 by 200 pixels, since this is the resolution many of the classic point and click adventure games were limited to back in the day. The first thing I did was to import a screenshot from Monkey Island directly into my canvas, because there were a few things I wanted to make sure I was getting right. I wanted to mimic the actions and inventory menus at the bottom of the screen as close as possible, and for this I just traced the layout on a layer on top. But I wanted to use my own font for the actions, so I used the text tool to add the words. And after that I just will use them as reference to pixel hand draw them. The second thing I wanted to make sure is that the size of the characters in my scene were similar to the characters in Monkey Island, maybe just a little bigger. So I copied and pasted the Guybrush Triput sprite from the screenshot and I left it around for reference. The scene I wanted to portray in this fan art was the iconic moment in the first The Last of Us video game where Joel and Ellie encounter a giraffe. If you haven't played the game, or you are in the process of watching the TV show, don't worry, I don't consider this to be a spoiler since it's just an isolated little event in the game and it doesn't really have an impact in the story. At the moment I'm uploading this video, I'm not even sure if they are going to include it in the TV show since the last episode of the first season hasn't been out yet. The scene is really emotional and I always loved it in the game. It represents a moment of beauty in the middle of the horrors of a post-apocalyptic world. Joel and Ellie encounter this giraffe, and for a tiny second, they get to pet the beautiful animal before it leaves the place. As you can see, I started by sketching the whole scene, using the one pixel size brush from my pixel art set. I didn't care if the lines didn't look pretty, I was just focusing on establishing a nice composition and placement for all the elements. Once I had the sketch, I lowered its opacity and on a layer below, I jumped to paint the background, starting by the farthest element in the distance, the sky. Then I continued adding the different elements on top of each other, layer by layer, as they were getting closer to us the viewers. I also focused on silhouettes at this stage, making sure that the shape for every element was properly readable. When I had most of the main elements for the background in place, I started working on the rendering and details. Using different dithering brushes, I was able to give the sense that some of the colors are blending with each other like you can see in the sky. All these brushes are really helpful, because originally these kind of dithering textures had to be drawn by hand in many cases, but now with a tool like this, you can just paint a big stroke to add the effect you want in an area.
I painted all the details for the buildings in the far distance and I continued with the trees in the background, the military tent and the wrecked vehicle. Using the Pixel Modern Day wall brush, I was able to quickly paint the bricks in this wall in the foreground, and by alpha locking the layer I could then add details to the crevices and the bricks themselves by combining different dithering textures. I rendered the top part of the wall as well. Then I jumped to detailing the giraffe. I feel like I never painted a giraffe in my life until this moment, so this was fun. If you're wondering, I was looking at a gameplay video of this scene from the game on YouTube as a reference, especially for the important things, like the colors I was using, the look of the animal, the main characters, and so on. Having alpha lock activated really helped to paint inside the shapes, and work on all the shading and details. I kept going with working on the rest of the background, starting by the interior of the building we see through that window, and continuing with the main wall, with all the cracks and everything. And after this I detailed the floor and the cross section of that other wall that is facing at us, where the giraffe's head is overlapping. At this point I felt that I had built the environment enough to start working on Joel and Ellie. Sometimes I feel like establishing the environment or context first really helps me when it comes to working on characters. I started by defining the silhouettes using just one color, and then I painted the clothes and the facial features. with Joel more or less finished, I kept going with Ellie. I painted a couple of shadows under their feet. 
and then I continued working on the background, adding more details where I felt they were needed. I was excited to get to this part, where I was painting the vegetation in the scene, since it is such an iconic visual element in the The Last of Us games. And it was super fun and easy, thanks to the couple of pixel leaves brushes that are included in this set, that make painting this kind of element super fast and effortless. My process was to paint the different colors of vegetation in different layers, so that later it was easy for me to alpha lock, and paint some shadows or highlights inside the shapes. I also added a couple of broken pipelines, and a few rocks on the ground. I then activated the Monkey Island reference again, because I wanted to replicate the active command in the middle of the screen, that indicates what the player has just clicked on for the main character to do next. In the classic adventure games, clicking on the command look at something was another way to tell the character to interact with that element. As a final touch, I wanted to paint a few iconic objects in the inventory slots, starting with Joel's shotgun, and adding later Sarah's watch, a construction brick, and Joel's flashlight. I also added the characteristic mouse cursor, that was so typical in these kind of games. Now let's have a look at the final result. I really hope you liked this video, if you use my brushes and post your art on social media, feel free to use the hashtag ManeroBrushes so that I can see what you create. I would be extremely happy to share your creations with my audience. Don't forget to subscribe for more art related videos and give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out my Gumroad page, where you will find the Pixel Art Experience brush set for Procreate, and many other sets and freebies that I have available, I'm sure something will suit your artistic needs. All the links are in the description below. Okay, thank you for watching, see you next time.